So what do you imagine you will feel when we discover that intelligent signal? I know what we're going to feel when we discover it because I've felt it <laughs> several times already. Several times I've thought I've detected an extraterrestrial intelligent signal. Uh, the first time was actually when I was a grad student at Harvard. Uh, one snowy cold night and we used to observe with a small radio telescope all by ourselves. Uh, I was observing the radiation from hydrogen from the Pleiades star cluster, one of everybody's favorite star clusters in the sky. And I had observed it night after night. It was a very slow process in those days because the receivers were so poor. And I'd gotten, so I knew what the spectrum would look like by heart. I knew exactly what to predict. And each spectrum took about an hour to take. And I'd look at it and i said, okay, not much has changed. I was looking, getting the spectrum from different parts of the star cluster. Not much was changing from one another. And one night, I did a spectrum, I looked at it, and whoo, there was a whole new feature in it, a, a very bright line, a narrow line in the spectrum of hydrogen radi radiation at the frequency of the hydrogen atom. I thought, what could this be? And so I measured the frequency, and um, uh, the, the frequency that you observe is actually change from the frequency of which it's radiated by Doppler effect. The thing is, the radiating object is coming towards you or away from you. The, the, the line appears at a different wavelength. So uh, sure enough, this one was not quite at the right wavelength for hydrogen that was not moving. It was coming from something that was moving. And I made calculate, uh, observed this frequency difference and calculated what velocity was required. It came out to be the velocity of the Pleiades star cluster. I thought, wow, this looks like a signal that was transmitted on the hydrogen frequency from the Pleiades, and it's arriving on Earth on this somewhat different frequency because the Pleiades happens to be moving at high speed with respect to us. And so I thought, I've discovered a signal from the Pleiades. And this, by the way, was the thing that kept me, that I, I never left my mind in the years that came afterwards until I, it led me to try this experiment for real at Green Bank. Uh, and when you see that and you think you're sure you have detected another civilization, you feel a very special emotion. It is different from all other emotions, so I can't really describe it to you. But it's a, an emotion of elation in a sense that you are now part of some much greater uh, world of knowledge and activity and you have sort of gone through a door into a, a world of new facts, phenomena, creatures uh, that populate our universe. And uh, I felt it at that time, I felt it about twice later when uh, we've done that, had that same experience uh, such as the time in 1960 when we got the sound. <laughs> and. Uh, one or two other times, and we've had a signal that looked just like a, a true extraterrestrial signal. It's a very powerful motion because you sense that what you're seeing is going to change all of history, and I think for the better. <laughs>